Bye, Robert. Robert is in. Artsy, asinine, average. Average. Fine! Robert hates when people use adjectives before his name, especially Artie. Posers talk about art all day, and it finally makes life suck for the true artists. So many fools with dreams of changing the world out there. As a matter of fact, it's challenging enough to stop the world from changing you. So, at the age of 23, Robert quit his easy, stable, lucrative job. On a beautiful Monday morning, he decides to throw his resignation in his manager's face. There's an amazing world out there. I need to escape and see it all for myself. So Robert packs his luggage, gets on his bike, and sets out on his enlightening journey. Oh, 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 let's fold the bike, let's get the stuff, put it on, hop on the bike, let's go see what there is to see. The first destination is Tibet. Oh, Tibet. People say going there can purify the soul. Love, pure soul. Yay, feeling good. We have all of the love. As the developer of this game, I know that Robert never had an easy, stable, or lucrative job. Um, fine tip needle. Uh, big giant pokey thing. Fine tip needle. Twig giant. Fine tip needle. Oh! And he certainly couldn't afford to throw a resignation in his manager's face. Um, giant needle. He's just fantasized about this scenario for a long time, and now he can't tell the reality from the dream. Oh dear, oh dear, okay, okay, okay. You're on, you're on. Can't predict where it's gonna go, can't predict where it's gonna go. Oh jeez, three rounds, three rounds, one more round, one more round, one more round. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. It's gonna split into like three. No, no, no! They all move at the same speed, I'm fucked. At least I can get one, right? I can at least get one. Thank goodness the number 318 National Highway is real enough. Oh shit! Thank heavens he didn't make up his destination, which is called Tibet. People sometimes ask Robert why he retired so young. Robert clears his mind and answers. A 
I never took the chance to leave and never find out what I was missing. We travel, some of us forever, to seek other states of their lives and their souls. It is good to have an end to the journey towards, but it is the journey that matters in the end. I like all of those. I remember those for later. I like those. Uh, that one sounds. It's like good to game. have an end to journey toward, but. Uh, forget it. They won't get it. I'll stop talking now. Not the point! Robert begins to realize that he has nothing to say to people who are trapped by their petty lives. If he could define his state of mind in a single phrase, Robert would call it, on the road. Someone always wants to know where the road is going. Way to miss the point completely, Robert thinks to himself. While Robert doesn't really appreciate that kind of question, he doesn't make a big deal out of it. The only answer is to block each message, one by one, without a word. Where'd you go? That's not how it works. Oh, Lhaza. 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 Congratulations, Robert. You it's it not clear when it started. To purify heart in Tibet has become a twisted hobby for those artsy guys. People tend to look down on them. But Robert knows that if he gave into their petty doubts, he turn out as bad as any of them. No! I know some people's souls are beyond help, but the clouds up here put me at ease. You can't fake true tranquility. Well, it's only 41% though! When I run my fingers along these ancient prayer wheels, I can feel my soul tremble, shaking off old burdens. Almost there. Did I miss one? Did I miss one? Did I miss one? Ah, oh, you're right cute here, game. right now. I feel the mysterious plateau has purified my soul thoroughly. You Does that make me pretentious? Depends on how. No. If listening to your heart makes you pretentious, I'd much rather be pretentious than a failure. Just don't get in people's faces about it. Do it for you. Travel the world, Robert. Go After ahead. having such an amazing experience, Robert can't wait to travel even further away. Well, now hang on. What do you mean further away? What's he running from? In fact, there's nothing but distance further away. Upon the distant barley fields, there's nothing but barley. The further I go, the lonelier I feel. Nothing out there but a lonely tree. Then, a stone flew towards me. The stone is bleeding. Seven sisters appear, but no one fits your need. Standing in a barren field, I found far away. I feel poor and free. These untouchable sisters. Who are these untouchable sisters? This untouchable blood. I don't understand this metaphor. I don't understand what this is. This untouchable distant happiness. Poor and free. Distant happiness. Or rich and miserable. Has anyone ever met? I don't understand the seven sisters. Somebody explain seven sisters to me, please. 
It has always been thus. Behind the wind is wind. Beyond the sky is sky. And the road winds on forever. Thank you everybody for joining us. We will see you next time on another adventure for the next chapter. Bye!